Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and today we're giving One Size Booty another try and testing out their new pink powder. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products and not the people behind them. Any tip you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh my lovely little pink starfish, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself am doing wonderful, however, I have to close these blinds. Hold on. There we go. Consistent lighting is key. So I hope you're just having a spiffy day so far. It is beautiful and kind of sunny-ish outside. I'm in Orlando, Florida, and we're just approaching summer, so it's hotter than Hades Hole, but it's also hurricane season, so it's like rainy, and I just love it. It's the perfect day to sit inside and play with some makeup. And I did post a little poll on my channel, and that's not even a euphemism. It was a survey asking what product y'all wanted me to review first, and this was tip at the top. And I don't even need to lie on here. It's obvious that I've not really loved a lot of the one-size products. I've been with them since the very beginning, and it just wasn't that good. So I wanted to give this brand a little bit of time to mature and maybe work on their formulas, come out with more products, which now they have. We did finally try their foundation whenever it came out, and I loved it. Well, I wouldn't say I loved it. I enjoyed it, but I don't know if I returned it, if I gave it away, or if I've just lost it, but I didn't have it, so I reordered it, as well as their concealer, which I didn't love. But one thing that I love about makeup and just humans in general is that our skin changes over time. Like, a year ago, my skin was not the same as it is today. I think I have a little bit more control over it. It's kind of on the normal side. I'm not oily. I'm not dry. I'm just in the middle. And so even though this may not have worked for me a while back, maybe now it will. And you can see my skin. If this is what yours seems like, then maybe this will work for you. So yeah, we'll give it another try. If we don't like it, we don't like it. It's no biggie. We know that this brand does in fact carry products that I personally do like. So it's fine. Not everything works for everyone. Damn. But before we hop in, let's do our little bit of research. On Sephora, it looks like this powder actually has banging reviews. This this isn't a new product, it's just this color that's new, and it has four out of five stars, which honestly isn't terrible. This is a finely milled blurring powder for all day wear, 24 hour shine control, and a soft matte finish, available in four shades, which now it's more. And I'm not positive, but as far as I know, I'm pretty sure the pink is just to brighten. Of course, it'll set your makeup and everything, but it's not translucent, like it does have a little bit of brightening hue to it. But some people are saying their $5 wet and wild powder is better than this. Others say they absolutely fucking adore this shit, but for the most part, like 85% of people, at least on Sephora, recommend this. So I'm curious, and I did notice that they also had a peach version, which I'm assuming that's probably more for like color correcting. Peach, red, orange, green, purple, lavender, all that shit. That is color correcting. But this, I don't think it's color correcting. Like I said, I think it's just for brightening. So we'll see. Let's first open this up because she is the star of the show. Typical one size booty packaging. Very nice. It reminds me of a car. I can't remember if it's supposed to be like that, but it reminds me of one of those like 1950s big ass vehicles. Ooh, and then this is actually very pretty. I think this is probably an upgrade from their first launch. Not the packaging really matters, and it was kind of custom packaging, but it didn't look expensive. It didn't really reflect the price, but also it is a lot of money to customize anything, so the fact that they did customize it, it's just very impressive. I don't know if Patrick is like under somebody or if he financed all of this by himself, but for any individual to come out with a makeup brand, it's a lot of fucking work. It's a lot of fucking money, so I applaud it. Okay, we took the little plastic thing off. Here is what she looks like. Very nice. It almost looks edible. Like for some reason, I want to dip my finger into it and lick it. Kind of like that fun dip. Is that what it was called? Where you had like that stick of sugar that you would dip into more sugar. People would wonder why they were in a sugar coma like 10 minutes later. Mm, it doesn't have a smell because why would it? But let's feel her. Oh, very silky, smooth, extremely finely milled. How the fuck much was this? Maybe we should be looking at that. 34 doll hairs, but this this is packed to the absolute fucking brim with product. And if you don't have to use a ton, I don't think that's a bad price. So there is what she looks like. It just feels almost liquidy. It's so smooth and soft. If you've ever felt one of those foundations that goes from a powder to a liquid, that is how this feels, except it's not liquid. It just disappears. So I am very excited to try that. Let's go ahead and dive into a look. Even though all of these products I think are supposed to give you a matte look, I don't love a matte look anymore. Like, like I have changed as I have aged into my maturehood. I do like a little bit of glow. So I'm gonna go in with Dew of the Gods Primer and hopefully this will allow it so there's a little bit of shine that goes through. I think the powder said it's supposed to be shine and oil control, which you can have shine and oil control and still not look like a piece of toast. Ooh, that stuff smells good. Who is this by? I got it in BoxyCharm, I think. Oh, it's Tahitian Breakfast. Okay, sounds tasty. I could have sworn I ordered a sample of the one size primer, but they didn't put it in 
in my little box. I can't really be mad. It was a free offering, but I was hoping to use that with today's foundation. It's no biggie because not everybody has the primer. You shouldn't have to use the primer in order to use their foundation. Plus, is this even a foundation? It applies as a whipped cream. Mm, yum. But they say apply a small amount with your fingertips and gently rub in. I think this is more like a BB cream, which it clearly says it's a BBB cream. Beauty Blur Balm. I don't know. Hopefully I got the correct shade. I am so bad at color matching. People give me absolute shit for ordering too deep of foundations, which I don't blame them, but also things look different online. And it's not cheap to order like five different shades. Oh, this might not be my color. <gasps> Maybe it is. Surprise, surprise. I'm not a fan of applying makeup with your fingers. Not that it doesn't look great. I just don't like the feeling of it. There she is. She has a beautiful consistency. I wouldn't say whipped cream, more like chocolate mousse, but I think those are in the same family. So here we go. Oh, fuck a duck. I have no mirror. Oh gosh. I hope this isn't too much. You know what? Oh, damn. If it is too much, we will just start over. I don't want to fuck with the integrity of this. Oh my gosh. The color's almost perfect. Maybe a little bit yellow on me, but when I tan, I do turn quite yellow. Hold on, I have to go in with both hands and rub it. It has a good consistency. It feels like a moisturizer. This has a lot more pigment than I thought it would, though. The coverage is very nice. I am having regrets, though, because I think this probably may have been better with a brush. I don't know. <laughs> no, madam, actually, that is perfect. Perfection. Wow. Oh God, I've got a rogue eyebrow. <laughs> okay, there we go. Damn, mama. So at first I thought that this was probably way too freaking much, but now that it's blended out into my skin and down my beard, it's honestly perfect. But it just looks like a second skin, like I'm healthy. I'm not sure what you're seeing because post-production, I do turn up the saturation so everything is colorful and vibrant. So if it doesn't quite match what you're seeing in person, it's almost a perfect match. This is Beautiful. And it actually feels pretty set on my face. Like, I don't know that I would need a setting powder on this. I feel like a good setting spray squirted all over my face like Saturday night in the back alley at a club. But before we set anything, let's go in with a little bit of Consqueeler. The foundation was the shade Light 3N. It's so fucking weird. Sometimes I'm neutral, sometimes I'm not. Who the fuck knows? Sometimes I just click and buy it and hope for the best. This is Light 4. Why did I get something deeper? Is this deeper? Oh, no, I think we might be okay. It definitely is quite yellow, though. I guess that makes sense because it's neutral. We'll start with a teeny tiny bit. Hopefully this isn't too much. I do have a bit of redness right here. And I know that looks like a lot, but it really isn't. It's just very lightly dabbed. I am on a diet. I will not have any kind of cake, especially on my face. But let's go ahead and tap this. So far, so good. It does look a little bit dry right on my forehead, right in this area. But let's see how it is under the eyes. We we love a thick queen, which this formula definitely is. In fact, I think you could probably use it as an actual concealer, you know, like to cover up blemishes instead of just a highlight under your eyes. I do think you might have to let it dry for a second before you spread it out. But that right there is fucking gorgeous. I didn't watch any of my reviews beforehand because I didn't want to go into this with any biased thoughts, but I can't remember why I didn't like this. If it looked dry, I don't know. That is beautiful. Knowing me though, I probably just applied way too freaking much and that's why it looked like ass. And this time I think I applied probably the correct amount. I am all for growth and critiquing and honey, I will be the first to call myself out. And I admit that a lot of times with reviews, I just went in with too much product because I was watching these influencers review it and you know how those bitches are. They will fucking squirt foundation on their face like it's mustard onto a hot dog. And then what you see when it's blended out is beautiful. So it makes people think that you have to go in with that much. Much. So yes, gone are my days of doing that. I don't mind when my natural freckles on my forehead come through and you can actually see your skin. You can still see a little bit of the sheen from my primer through this. So I am in love so far. And the concealer does seem pretty dried out. I'm just gonna tap it into place until we set it. But it doesn't feel heavy or cakey. It just feels very, very natural. Now let's take a bit of our powder. Oh shit, <laughs> I couldn't figure out why none was coming out. She has a little trap door. And for under the eyes only, I'm going to take this dense Hank and Henry brush. We don't need a ton of setting powder. I'm just gonna kind of load it into the brush and I'm going to lightly tap that right there. <gasps> oh, 
Oh my. I'm not getting like super pink from this, which I appreciate. I don't need my under eyes to be like a gender reveal or anything, but my under eyes do look very soft and blurred. But really though, how are you supposed to get product out of this? Tap a little bit right there because I did put some concealer there. Bring it down to the eyes one last time, maybe on the nose. Fuck, we're gonna end up setting the entire face with this. But before we do, let's take a peeky poo at the under eyes. Do they look bright? Do they look nice? I gotta say, they look pretty damn decent. A little bit on the dry side, but of course we did just pack a powder under there, so fucking of course. It just looks like I have a powder under there, like I need to set this with a spray to melt that. Do you see any creasiness under there? I don't look like crepe paper. It doesn't look like wadded up paper towel or anything. So I am going to very lightly set the rest of my face with a big ass floofy brush. Oh god, how the hell do you open this? We'll lightly tap into there. Oh god, that's too much. Like a lot of their other products, I probably give the packaging maybe like a two out of five. It looks pretty Pretty, but it's not the most user-friendly. Style over substance, baby. I thought it was a little bit warm before because she's a sweaty beast and it was kind of creating a mask-like feeling and I thought it was just my sweat coming through. But now that everything is set into place with this powder, this is just magical feeling. There is no sensation on my face whatsoever. Very comfortable. It's just so nice. Wow. What do you think, my little queens? Does it look good? Does it look gross? What are you seeing? Turn it all the way up to 4K or whatever the fuck we film in. So you can see all of my pores and nose hair. Mm. Yay. I really like this. So let's go ahead and set this into place. Cover up my quaff before it curls. Mmm. If your lap isn't wet after a good lap dance or using setting spray, then they have not done their jobs. Oh, come through, little Nikki Tutorials fan. Hi, baby. I am going to make a whole video about my favorite products lately, but one of them is the Neutrogena Hydrating Setting Spray. This is fucking amazing. It's so damn cheap. It's just a good ass product if you want to glow, but not look oily. Which, see this? We are glowy. I am under studio lights, so maybe I do look oily, but it's in real life, I promise, she looks like she just got fucked. Oh my, that's so beautiful. So here we are, it is the beginning of my day. I'm gonna wear this for several hours. I will admit, I am like a little chihuahua. I just get tired so easily, but I will wear this for as long as possible. Let's take one last little looky looky. We have the under eye squealer, we have the powder, and we also have the foundation. All of it looks marvelous. This looks like my skin, but healthier. I am 10 out of 10 satisfied right now. I would give this a great yell review if it were a hotel. She is just doing her job in all the right ways. So my loves, I will see you in just a second at the end of the day. Hello my loves. Okay, we're literally like 10 minutes into this video, but I'm noticing that my setting spray is breaking down this foundation. Not good. It's very shocking because I love the shit out of that bitch. So I did just take a little bit more of that powder and tap it underneath my eyes because we were creasing hella quickly. And I'm also taking whatever's left on this brush and tapping it right there. Pretty much everything else on my face is good. I did just want to let you know everything that's going on with this. And maybe it's just the setting spray. Maybe it's because I put a fucking gallon on my face. Who the hell knows? But after doing that, this looks beautiful again. So we will resume our little, what do we call this? Wear time. Damn. She needs some water and a salad. I can't think. Okay. See you in a little bit. All right. So I wanted to show you how this looks in natural lighting, not under the studio lights. And outside, it does look pretty good. I mean, we do have a little bit of texture going on, but I think that's just my skin. I do also see that there is quite a bit bit less coverage in natural lighting, so I'm not sure if there's a lot of flashback, but on my forehead, it doesn't really even look like I have anything on. I'm gonna go inside and see how this looks like in my bathroom. Bathroom vlog, hi. Okay, so the camera is honestly making this look a lot worse than it looks in person, although I don't have my glasses on, so maybe this is how it looks to other people. Like, look at, doesn't that look disgusting? Yet, when I look in the mirror, I think I look okay. So quite truthfully, that is something to take into consideration, especially if you're a selfie queen, because this does not give me confidence. Like I would not want my picture taken looking like this. Let me try it in different lighting, hold on. Well, shit, out in the living room, this looks perfectly great. So maybe it does all just depend on the lighting. It's almost like with the studio lights, this was perfect. For filming, I think I would really, really like this, but for real life, I don't know. If you hear little nibbles, it's my cat eating. Mia, you little slut puppy. Hi, baby. 
go ahead and eat. Yes, I must feast. Mm, nom, 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 nom. It does kind of make sense that this does look good under studio lights because this is created by Patrick Starr, who is a YouTuber and often under studio lights. So I don't know if this was geared more towards that and not necessarily every day, but like, why would you offer a product that's just for that? That is an itty bitty little niche. I'm not sold. We'll see how it lasts throughout the day. And we are back. It is the end of my day. I did change clothes because I'm heading down to the gym to work out my little titties. But before I do that, I want to wipe this off and I have very mixed feelings about all of these products. In some ways, I like what I have on, but in other ways, I don't. For example, when I'm not under these studio lights, my face doesn't look this good as it does here. Of course, that's what my studio lights are for. However, it's kind of a drastic difference, like how we saw in the bathroom. That was not that cute. But then in soft filtered sunlight on a cloudy day, it did look good. So she's just a little bit inconsistent, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I just applied too much foundation and that's why little bits of my face look kind of dry. But is it terrible? No, I think you just have to probably go in a little bit more sparingly than I did, which I thought I was using a little bit, but I think I was probably using a lot. And here I was telling you how I don't want cake face. Hi friends, Future Nady here testing out some Fenty products. I'm sure you've already seen the video. If not, you should definitely check it out. But I wanted to retry this powder with a foundation that I absolutely love, which is the, what the fuck is it? Patrick Ta. I love this little baby so damn much. And so I tried the powder with it and it is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely soft and blurring. I don't have that weird texture on my face like I did with the Patrick Star Foundation Concealer, and so I kind of think it was those products that was making my face look a little bit fucked up. But as far as the powder goes, which is kind of the point of the review, I love it. I'm going to continue using it. It's really, really pretty. It's so soft and finely milled, and it absolutely is blurring. So that's my two cents with that. Back to the review. So I kind of feel like I'm on the same level as how I felt about the concealer when I first reviewed it, which was that I didn't love it. But is it the worst thing ever? No, I just think we could probably do better, probably for cheaper. And I do think same with the foundation. It does look pretty. It's not awful. Would I be comfortable wearing it out in public? Probably yes, but just half as much. So once again, I think I'm on the same level as I was with the review where it's like, mm, good, but not mm, great. The powder, however, I really do think is beautiful. Although these products do claim that there's not supposed to be any flashback and I kind of have to beg to differ because I do think I'm a little bit lighter under these lights and I think it's a lot blurred, a lot more blurred. And then once you go in normal lighting, it's a little bit more realistic and not the best. And so maybe this would be great for photography or film use, but what you're seeing might be totally different and more crisp than what I'm seeing in my mirror. So please let me know down in the comments below. Low. But coming from a cheap ass, I actually do think the powder is worth the price. I know they have several shades to choose from, so if you're not feeling the pinkity dinkity, I say get either translucent or a shade that matches you. I'm totally cool with this. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna keep using it. I don't love the applicator, but really, who the fuck cares? So anyways, there we go, my loves. Thank you so much for being here. You know I love having your sexy, cute little butt. Oh, that didn't sound right. Eh, thank you for being here. If you want a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplets. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon-only content. And best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. Don't forget, my latest Repop collection is available at repopcosmetics.com. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady. And you can follow me online at thepoplets.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!